Welcome back. Well, this is part two of the fire brick pizza oven construction. This is the D105. This is the uh, fire brick company from Melbourne. I apologize. I, I got a I got an email from one of my favorite uh, viewers from uh, Australia, and he corrected me. He says Melbourne. So we have the Bourne Bridge down at Cape Cod, but it's Melbourne, not Melbourne, Australia. It's Melbourne. So I hope I got that right. So thanks. And thumbs up to you for correcting me. I don't want to. I don't want to bore people who knew better. So anyway, but today, in this part two, we're going to hopefully, if this weather stays the way it is, and you notice today we don't have any, we don't have any overhead sunshine with these irritating shadows that uh, confuse the uh, lighting and everything. But uh, we do have, we do have some weather, some rain and precipitation that's uh, around the neighborhood. Hopefully, it'll hold off because we're going to be doing some. Castable, it's uh, the refractory com uh, castable, refractory castable, which is a fire made for bricks, ovens, and all those things. I don't know, but anyway, uh, I got four sacks of it, and we're going to be using, according to the instructions, we're going to be using 3.25 of uh, of those sacks, and the remaining one is going to be used for, I guess the, I guess it's going to be used for the keystone on the top of the entrance or something. So. Anyway, but what's even more exciting today is I brought my special guest. Come on over here. This is my this is my lovely daughter. <laughs> she's very she's very shy. She doesn't she doesn't want to say anything. But I want you to say hello. Say everybody. Hello. <laughs> but she's gonna help me. You know I can't get anything done correctly in this build without her because she's she's the one that <laughs> reminds me to do things that I forget. You know, at my age I get addle brained and everything. So. Uh, she knows what we're going to be doing. Uh, she's she's actually uh, gone through watching most of the uh, Fire Brick Company videos and uh, watched how that stuff is made. So she has a fair idea what's going on. So if I get uh, off track and everything, so she'll help me out. So let's step over this uh, brick oven and show you what's going on. So my daughter and I removed the uh, thumbtacks and the paper template. At this point now, we're going to install... Um, this temporary border, and this border material is, uh, if I can get it up, I'm done. There we go. Okay, so this is the one component that uh, they don't supply. I think he probably takes uh, $2.95 off because you have to supply it. But this is this is just standard aluminum foil. And this is going to be covering the uh, covering the uh, calcium silicate, uh, the what I call it, the calcium uh, silicate, I guess. And this is to prevent moisture from the concrete, from the uh, castable material, from uh, being absorbed and drying it out too quickly, because that would be that would be very very bad. So anyway, we'll start by getting this covered. And Okay, now he's finishing up the covering, and uh, we use we're using plain masking tape, and uh, we're we're avoiding anything with uh, possibly noxious smelling materials that could uh, migrate up through the uh, masonry uh, while we're baking. So everything is. Everything is uh, plain vanilla, no no blue tape, green tape, frog tape, or any just just plain old cheapo masking tape. Because uh, if if something would have come up through, this rubber would be really bad. Uh, and that's and for that reason, uh, never ever use plastic to uh, do what we're doing. It has to be just aluminum foil. So this is in here forever. There you go, huh? You want to yeah. put that across? Okay. 
think she's doing a marvelous job. <laughs> I'm telling you. Just the beginning. I couldn't I couldn't have built this without her. She she's helped me with she's she's helped me construct all the walls. Lay, put the put the walls up. She's strong she's strong like crazy. <laughs> so uh, now we're gonna start to put the uh, border around it. And I'm gonna put a screw in here first before okay. we wrap it all around. Right. And uh started. I don't think it would be advised to use a uh, impact uh, driver. moderately tight. It's very hot and humid today. Come on, there we go. Just keep on going around it. And we'll finish it up with two right in the middle here. These, these are most important. This is the front of your oven, so we want to make sure this is really good and it's really good and straight. It's been about 25 minutes since that last pour was made. I cleaned up the uh, castable that was on the edges onto the uh, top of the deck, on top of this uh, oven base. It's a huge oven base. It's going to give us plenty of room to have working space. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of uh, enclosure those walls are going to be built out by three inches. Actually, there'll be a five inch shelf up above to put uh, beer steins, any kind of decorative plates or whatever. So that looks like it's setting up pretty good. So stay tuned for the uh, exciting third part where we put down the first tiles. God bless. Welcome back. Well, today, today we're going to do part two of this uh, Cut. You always have to say that when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make it really hard. Welcome back. Well, this is part two of the fire brick pizza oven construction. This is the D105 model, the Delta 105. And uh, yeah, the last the last video in the first. Yes, no good. Welcome back. 
Well, this is part two of the D-105. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Well, this is part two of building the... <laughs> I can't get the name of it off the top of my head. <laughs> well, that's tricky. Just say pizza oven. I know. Oh, you can say fire brick. Yeah, fire pizza brick. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to get. <laughs> you're thinking like a gun. It's a fire brick.